YouTube. I'm going to talk a little fast in this video so I can try and squeeze in the entire process of making this beautiful step under 10 minutes. It's, uh, well, if I'm doing it without talking, it, it, it would take me very, it, a very short amount of time. But since I have to talk through it, because uh, I know people don't like the videos where you just say click, 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 click. Some people have small screens. You can't see what the hell you're clicking on. That's why I have to talk through it. So now, this is 2016, advanced deal. In my previous videos, I used 2015. Everything is pretty much the same. Only differences you will actually notice is maybe when you click drawing styles, a different style menu will pop up rather than the one we used to in 2015. But I'm going to, you can follow ahead in 2015 uh just fine uh now uh first things first in this in these next few videos i'm gonna go in depth with uh changing the options for particular items like steps today we're gonna do steps i'm gonna create steps now to speed up the process i've pre-drawn uh, the channel, the columns there, and this, 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 very important, this. And I'll explain it just now. Now, uh, the height of the risers should be equal. It's very easy to calculate the, the rise of the box and then uh, draw the lines in like I have done there. So I pre-calculated, so the height from the top of the grading not the top of the channel not the top of that channel the top of the grading that's on top uh, the height from there so okay so I'll just do the measurement here from there to that line that height is six okay reason it's six because there's an inch grading on top of that or well, there's gonna be now the rest of them are as you can see I'll just do one of them here there are seven why because that's the accepted rise where I am seven inches and the run here is the tread is 12 on every level so you know just simply put line drawing like I have done 12 7 12 7 12 7 12 7, 12, 7 to the ground you make that is gonna make your stair creation very easy you're gonna love making stairs if you can master this little process here so uh, don't forget the height is equal from bottom to top okay and don't forget to account for the grading on top of that okay now we have that easiest way to do this go to home click on your stair uh, uh, icon there and we're going to use the first option start and end point we hit enter just or zero enter then click the start point and end point of our stair our stair is gonna just slide to the right okay because you know you can't go left we're gonna go right or middle is it's too close to the edge we're gonna go right just trust me on this we're gonna go right to right okay okay now we have our beautiful stair it's not quite beautiful it's still ugly we're gonna make it beautiful okay now uh, now this is what I'm going I'm gonna go into into the settings and actually change things so you can see how things happen here so stringer I'm gonna change the MC because MC in real life is well from where I am it's hard to uh, to define or it takes a long time to ship so we usually just substitute that with C now uh, we have our bottom landing and top landing I do not want any landings okay trust me on this one I see it looks like we're taking away from from uh, from the step but we're actually really making it better and our stair type I don't like that because that's, that's just not a good stare. I just hate it. I'm sure most of you hate it too. So now, uh, tread type. Uh, 
with general stem, sorry, uh, tread type. Uh, the more accepted one is why three. And I chose three for another reason. Because now I want to change the width of the stair. How do I do that? Go to stairs. Now, as you can see, I can click on this until my thumb runs off. But you can't change that because it's grayed out. Why? The answer is you run into this problem and sometimes you spend half an hour thinking, feeling, why can I not change the width? I'll tell you why right now. It's because of these gradings. Gradings, are, if you have a standard grading on there, it's standard. Like the word suggests, standard. You cannot change it. It comes that way. Now, to change that, you go to uh, tread uh, dimensions and change that standard grading to variable. And we're going to go with, uh, I guess, uh, Mr. Mark Nicholas here, whoever that is. Uh, and then now I can change the width of the stair, which I will change to three feet. Okay. And you can see the bottom stair is still ugly. Let's beautify that. And to do that, we go to step bottom and click that, check that, same as other steps. Okay, now uh, let's get out of that for now. And to clean up, here's a trick, to clean up some of these boxes, sometimes when you leave them hanging, like they overwhelm you and you can't see uh, your drawing clearly. So I'm talking about these drawing boxes here. To get rid of them temporarily, you go to uh, selection filter, join boxes. And by the way, I'll be showing you a lot of shortcuts or little tricks to get you through drawings, okay? So when you click that, click that, then you go right here, click uh, views, and click that box. And see, it just has them disappear for a while, you know, just so you can work on the drawing uh, with uh, a cleaner drawing. But the moment you go into advanced properties, the box comes back. Not all of them, just the one you're particularly working on. Okay, now, uh, before going further, we're going to anchor this to the ground because this is not going to stay up on its own. It's pretty limp. I don't know if that's the right context to use that, but you understand what I mean. We're going to anchor it to the ground using, um, let's see, that one there. I don't like that one. I like the other one, but you know. This one I'm more likely to make a mistake with so that I can show you how to correct it. Okay, so now we have, uh, we have that for our bottom, which is very ugly, not what we're going for, but we're gonna fix that. And to do that, we're gonna add a plate. So I just went cut nose, then cut and plate. Okay, we've added a plate, but that's not the size plate we're looking for. Too small for us. To change that, we go there, change that to horizontal, and change that plate height to maybe six. Okay, now that looks more inviting. See, I'd wanna go up that step. If I see that, I wanna go up that step. I wanna see what's at the top. Okay, now that has been made. We need to transfer that connection to the other side. Okay, and to do that easily, we're gonna go to, uh, uh, again, uh, options there, tools, sorry. Uh, click create connection template. And in 2015, that button is somewhere up there. But in this one, it's down here, okay. So click the joint box of the connection you wanna transform. And then right click and select the other stringer. Make sure you read down there, select the other stringer and right click again, uh, select reference point, negatory, hit enter, boom. It makes the exact same uh, connection on the other side. And you can see my cursor here is in a square form, so you can keep going, click another string, another, another, a hundred if you must. As long as you don't right click now, you can keep making connections. That goes for any type of connection, so, but, we're done, so right click. Now let's inspect that real quick. Uh, and it's pretty much identical to the other one. Not pretty much, it is identical. 
okay so now we've made the bottom and it's anchored into place but the top still needs work okay uh, that step is not gonna hold itself up you know it's not gonna stay up <laughs> these references are making me laugh inside okay now uh, uh, to fix the top we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use an angle up there to connect to the main channel okay so here it says connect main member click the main member right click the secondary to attach is our stringer okay right click and boom see very very simple elegant and this see now this has become a step of something to speak of okay we're just going to zoom in a little bit here uh, uh, some people don't like uh, bolts on the inside of the step they'd rather have them outside that can easily be fixed we go to connection to main mm, okay we'll get to that part we'll get that part connection with bolt parameters oh somewhere in here sometimes I too get lost uh, oh here yeah, down here so both so we can go left or we can go right but since people don't like it on the inside so we'll put it on the outside so which is the right side and that channel is probably clashing there yeah so mm, uh, let's see let's see we are going to change that distance there to raise it up a little bit so we're just gonna say one inch okay is it raised up enough uh, no we're gonna say half inch so 0.5 okay it's raised up it's cleared and the top here you might want to put a plate you know just man manually put a plate there and uh, uh, let's see what we have here I think I've exceeded my 10 minutes but I'm gonna finish this video anyway and uh, of course you can make it welded connection but bolting is cheaper so we're gonna go bolt and I close that again we're gonna use our shortcut of create connection template select connection part right click select the main member right click select the stringer adjoining right click and we have a perfect connection there except this is the only thing you have to change uh, if if you're doing left and right right and left you have to change yeah uh, just that option left right right left okay and that one will be here left we have our stair and again just for clarity purposes we turn off the joint boxes and that one and look look at that look at that who does not who does not want to go up that step you're gonna sleep on the steps you know okay so that is a quick tutorial I hope I did not exceed 10 but that's a quick tutorial on how to make the perfect step in my next video I don't know what I'm gonna be doing but I'll be doing some YouTube